He talked with UAW President Bob King outside the Capitol in Lansing yesterday. He said this was being rammed through, and he's not alone. We're hearing that from some Republicans today as well. But at the same time, while we were in Lansing yesterday, the governor and Republican leaders of the House and Senate said simply the timing was right. The numbers are on their side. You're looking at some 2,000 union protesters who were in the Capitol yesterday protesting the votes inside the House and Senate. That's why this is become national news. Eight were arrested and several others pepper sprayed as they tried to storm the state Senate. The right to work means people can choose whether to join a union in their job for decades. Michigan has been a closed shop state. And here's one of the disturbing parts of the quick votes yesterday. This is from a Republican senator who voted no, breaking ranks with his Republican party. We don't get a chance to read the bills before we vote on them. I think yeah. the people, they, and one of the things that people have been outraged about in recent years, when, they, when a lot of them have found out that some people in Congress don't read the legislation, they, they find that pretty upsetting when they realize that their elected representatives who are being paid quite well to their jobs are reading the legislation. Now, that Republican senator is from Sterling Heights. He raised that issue with Senate leaders and also the fact that no public hearings were held. He was simply told, we have the votes and we're moving forward. He lives in a split district, by the way, with Democrats and Republicans, including auto workers at Chrysler plants. So the Republicans did have the votes, but here's the key, especially in the Michigan House. This is a lame duck session. We're having new members coming in, including more Democrats after the first of the year. The Republicans will still have the majority edge of eight members, but it's a slimmer edge. And listen to this. Six Republicans in the House voted no yesterday, four in the Senate. Vic? All right, Jim, for what you just talked about, there's no doubt it's a messy situation. So where does it go from here? It's not law yet. These bills need to be reconciled. And I can tell you, I checked this morning, both the State House and the State Senate have scheduled their sessions to reconvene Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock, up in Lansing. And we've already heard the protesters will be back as well. Round two next Tuesday.